Today's video, I'm going to show how you can be very effective at countering a right hand by using parries and blocks. Our first demonstration is, you know, when you're fighting a taller opponent, like I like to use the example of Sugar Ray Leonard when he fought Thomas Hearns. You know, er early in that fight, he was trying, the first time they fought, he was trying to, he was trying to roll with that right hand. He was trying to step back or kind of roll with Thomas Hearns' right hand and then Thomas Hearns was so tall that he was having a hard time coming back with his right hand, or he'd have a hard time slipping Thomas Hearns because he was so far away. After he would throw the slip, he couldn't counter with the hook because of the distance of the taller fighter. So this, uh, this example here is very effective against a taller opponent when you have to cut distance. So uh, Thomas Hearns in this fight when Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, about the sixth, seventh round, Thomas Hearn, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard says, I can't get to this guy. He's too long. When he's throwing that right hand, I'm on the end of it. So he knew he had to cut the distance by using parry. And he had to be able to stop his right hand by, by parrying because when he would roll with it, he'd be on the end of it. So I always said that uh, Thomas Hearns would have gave Floyd Mayweather a ton of trouble because of the, the shoulder roll against a guy like Thomas Hearns is very difficult because of how long he is. So what happened with Sugar Ray Leonard is he had a very difficult time doing that against, Sugar, against Thomas Hearns. So what he did is he started using his parries and he started using both hands to parry punches. And when Thomas Hearns, he would go right in there. When Thomas Hearns would throw that right hand to the head, what he started to do is to parry it and he was starting to throw left hooks to the body. That's how he started breaking Thomas Hearns down. He started going left hooks to the body. And, and the technique of throwing that, how, of, of, of that parry is when the guy's throwing the right hand, I'm taking that right hand to my right shoulder and I'm pulling my left shoulder back. So at the same time that I'm parrying that shot, I'm setting myself up for a left hook to the body because I'm taking his hand, I'm eliminating his hand, and I'm taking his, le his, I'm taking his right hand to my shoulder. By, by parrying, I'm taking it to my right shoulder, but when I'm doing that, I'm pulling my left shoulder back and getting myself in position to throw a left hook to the body. And if you watch real close, Sugar Leonard was doing that to Thomas Hearns, and he was really breaking him down to the body. Um, and people say, well, why, why when he throws the right hand, why wouldn't I just slip the right hand? The reason you, that a, a parry can be very, more effective than a slip at times is because when you throw that punch and you, and you slip it, a guy still has momentum and has his, has his rhythm to be able to come back and throw the left hook to your head. But when you parry it, you are taking away you are taking away, you are eliminating that hand and you are taking his momentum and his rhythm away to land that shot and expose that body shot even more and to push him further away because the momentum of it will push him further away and it will break his rhythm because when he gets hit with the parry, his core is going to turn a little more and he's not going to be able to come back with this counter shot, the next shot, as quick. Our second example, again, why you would use a parry. That's why you would use a parry. And here, you can parry a right hand straight to the head, too. So he's throwing the right hand, and I could just parry it and throw my right hand at the same time. It's like timing his right hand and throwing it at the same time. But again, you're taking this hand, and you're parrying it, and then you're throwing it at the same time. So I'm going to parry it and throw it. So I'm breaking him down so he can't throw the hook again. So if he, if he throws that right hand, and I parry it, and I throw the right hand, I can come back with the hook. I'm going to beat him. If he's trying to come back with the hook, I broke his momentum. I broke his rhythm. He's not going to be able to come back as quick as I am with a hook because of the parry. That's what makes parries effective. It's a lost start. A lot of times, a lot of fighters are not using it anymore. Now, you could do the same thing with body, with body shots. If a guy's throwing a right hand to your body, okay? So you're here, this is more of a block parry. So he's gonna throw a right hand in my body. I can, I can block it just like that. He's going to my body and I'm catching and I'm just blocking, I'm rolling with it, but I'm blocking and I'm, again, I'm getting a little bit of it and then I can throw a solar plex shot with a close the drawer punch that I like to call, like closing the drawer. So he's throwing it, I'm, I'm block parrying it and then I'm coming with the body shot just like that. Or I could come with a right uppercut to the head.
Our fourth way is I can, I can use my right parry, like it, you make like a little half circle and you block. When he throws the right hand, I'm gonna block it like that and I'm gonna throw a left hook to his body. So he's coming here and I'm shooting that way and I'm getting, I'm getting his forearm right here and I'm taking his core and I'm taking his momentum away. Boom, and I ain't gotta swing at it hard because the momentum, the speed of his punch and just by me blocking like that is gonna, is gonna make his momentum really, it's gonna deflect that and it's gonna make him go and I'm gonna be able to counter that right to the body and I'm gonna expose that liver even more because of how I'm turning him. So that's four great ways to be very effective with parries and blocks to be able to land a couple nice counters to the head and to the body. Here's just a little something extra for you. When you parry that right hand to the head, you're setting yourself up for a left hook to the body as well so you could throw both shots. So when he throws the right hand, he's in, I'm gonna counter, and now I'm, look at the position in, I turn my shoulders, now I'm right there to throw the left hook to the body. One more time, down here, left hook to the body right off of it. 